Hi everyone, in this video tonight, let's do yes or no reading <clears throat> with playing cards and tarot cards. I'm gonna use 36 playing card deck called Black Palik uh, and Morgan Greer Tarot in a Tin. Okay, if you'd like to participate, please think of a yes or no question. For example, will I get a job or does he or she love me? And will I will, will we reconcile with my ex or something like that? And choose a deck. You can think of different five different questions and choose five different decks. Okay, it's up to you. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one. This is, let's see, yes or no. Okay, so this question might uh, depend on people a lot. <clears throat> in this particular case, it might be a no because of the black card in the end. We have this queen of spades. So it says that two people really want it and agree with it. But in the end, we have a let's see, woman who causes some sort of negativity or she doesn't agree with something, maybe she's pessimistic about something. It can be to family, but it's you. And because of that, you know, you, let's say, will object this or you will not agree with this. So let's say it's a no. Why? Because of this person's attitude, because of whatever her beliefs, her attitude, something like that. So let's pull one tarot card and see why is it unknown. We have the world card. Well, it can be a cultural issue. It can be a distance issue. It can be, uh, let's see, your beliefs are different because you're from different cultures or countries, something like that. And so basically, I feel that this is about... Um, some sort of cultural thing yeah why it is unknown because it's different countries because it's different uh, perspectives different opinions different um, wishes let's say it has something to do with in in the country like your circle where you are and where you want to be you know, so I feel it's something to do with the un universes, our personal, so to say, universes. Interesting would be to know what was the question. Okay. It can be because something is over, because some cycle has closed. It can be because it's the maximum that you could achieve. You know, this is it. This is it. There is nowhere else to go. Um, so that sort of feeling is coming. Okay, let's have a look at our uh, question number two. Is it a yes or a no? Okay, it's a no. And why is it a no? It shows uh, lots of work, lots of difficulties, and a, a lot of problems in this case. Now, nine of spades in all decks, you know, it represents some sort of issues, tears, illnesses, I don't know, like uh, accidents or just thoughts, worries. And, and basically, why are these worries, worries there? Because there is some sort of problem. Uh, problems are there. And it affects the person in a way that the person is stressed and uh, is fighting with those problems. So for some reason, it's a no because it's too difficult Maybe the woman is too depressed, maybe she's too anxious, maybe she needs to work too hard, maybe it depends, you know, whether she'll be able to do it or not. Lots of anger, lots of uh, resistance as well. So let's see why not. Well, we have uh, here a family, we have a couple. It can be because of one's... Um, marital situation it can be because of some company or some sort of contract that the person has in a company um, 
it came in because of someone else being in a co in a contract, you know. So there is some sort of very strong pull um, belonging somewhere, and because of that, it's a no. Also, some sort of completion, like um, because you're there, because you already have, because you know something something or maybe it's because it's very expensive or because it's a lot you know that sort of feeling is there is something a lot our deck number three is it a yes or a no well unfortunately this one as well is unknown now why is it unknown? It talks about some sort of limitation it talks about let's say you want something here and um uh, you know how to get it or you, you have the guts to try it out but here it shows something is maybe not in your control it can be in your control it can be that you're shy for example and you feel you have no energy to do that or you have no means to do that you know so there is some sort of helplessness going here um, something restricting some something or someone so because of that it's a no and why is it a no? Well, we have here um, some sort of partnership with someone. And perhaps this depends on the other person. Uh, in this situation, it shows that you are not alone. There is someone else, as you can see. You cannot see this person. But either they're stopping you from achieving this. Either they are doing something so you don't achieve this. Or you don't know the whole story. Because someone is doing something. You know, and there is more to it. And there, there's this limitation. But we don't know where it's coming from. Let's have a look at our deck number four. Uh, is it a yes or a no? It says it's a yes. It talks about a very strong wish uh, to achieve something. And it can talk about some sort of end, something ending as well. Maybe it, it shows that you wanted something, but then you stopped wanting it. And then as, you, as soon as you stopped wanting it, you got it. So it's going to be better than you thought. It's going to be... Well, here we have financial... Uh, lots of money, so to say, lots of lots of money, but it also can talk about general happiness and contentment. Let's say you re you had you got whatever you wanted, you're happy now. It talks about big changes as well. So to achieve this, um, you have to go through a lot of changes. It can be shifting, moving to another country. It can be. Uh, buying a new house it can be selling the old house something like that so because tens are kind of big things and changes why is it a yes it shows other people it shows communities groups and and some sort of um people yeah friend, people yeah so it says that your success will happen because other people will like what you do or other people will support you so basically it's the public it's people it's other others you know it's not so much you want it but it's you're not alone basically others are there as well and they will through them this will be possible so that sort of situation here It can be, for example, fans or customers or a big group of friends or people in your office or people in your country, you know. So that sort of group. Our deck number f uh, five, yes or no, it's a yes. Um, you know, why is it a yes? Well, simply here, again, it talks about good luck and, and things happening, um, things, what you wanted, they happen. Maybe it's about a new job, maybe it's about some sort of healing and good health. So these cards show good things. Whatever wha it was, it's going to improve and it's going to be better. Now, why is it a yes? Magician. It can talk about because... Uh, 
a very intelligent person will help you. For example, a doctor. Uh, it can be because someone is very smart. It can be because you will make it happen because you are very smart. It it is because of some person's talent and skills. Yeah, someone will take lead in their hands and they will make this happen. So if it's a healing, it can be that you'll have good doctors. If it's um, the money and job, for example, it can be that because you you are good at what you do, you know. Um, and so something like that, okay. And it's about someone being smart and confident and t- doing action, affecting this outcome somehow with their action. So this was our reading number five. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. Bye.